Okay, this demo surrounds the idea of refraction and the idea of something called critical angle, something that can be difficult to quite understand. Um, first of all, we know refraction as the bending of a wave due to a change in medium. That as light enters from one medium to another, its velocity change, its wavelength changes, and in turn, as you come in at different angles, it can actually bend the light ray. So for example, if you're going straight down on the border between the two mediums, there is no refraction, okay? Because um, you're coming in right at basically zero degrees. There is no refraction. But as we get a bigger angle, and now the light ray starts to bend, okay, and it bends towards the normal, because we're going from a low index air to a high index water. Now the interesting thing is, I can keep going, 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 until I'm nearly at 90 degrees and I still get refraction. In other words, there is no such thing as a critical angle when going from a low index of refraction like air into a higher index like water. Where it changes is when you're going from a high index like starting in the water to a low index back to the air. Okay. Now again, if I'm coming straight through the water, okay, there is no refraction. And now as I start to go upward, Okay, now, as you can see, now anytime you hit any sort of boundary, there's always some sort of reflection. Okay, but the light is actually able to penetrate and go outside of the boundary itself. So it's going out of the water at this particular moment. Now to show you the idea that it's actually going out of the water, let's look at the ceiling. Okay, because if we see a light on the ceiling, that means it must be going through the water. Okay, so as you can see, there's a light beam, a green light beam on the ceiling indicating that it's actually escaping through the water itself. Now, if I increase the angle to a certain point, the light beam will no longer appear on the ceiling. There, it's disappeared. Okay, that means I've reached what's called the critical angle. In other words, there is an angle you reach at which a refraction can no longer occur, even though it's a transparent boundary. So now, once you exceed the critical angle, you get what is called total internal reflection. In other words, the light beam cannot cross that boundary of water back to air. Now, this is important. Critical angle only occurs when you go from a high index like water to a low index like air, okay, high to low. It never works low to high. Okay, so I'm nowhere near 90 degrees, and yet I clearly cannot cross the boundary here, and I get what's called total internal reflection. And so that's the idea of critical angle. It's the maximum angle for refraction to occur only when going from a high index of refraction to a low index of refraction. Once you exceed the critical angle, you have something called total internal reflection.